In this video, I am going to show you step-by-step -step how you can customize the checkout page of your Shopify store. Let's get started. First, go to the settings on the bottom left. Here, you'll see this checkout option on this menu. This is where you can customize the checkout page of your store. But before we do that, it's important that you add your payment gateway with Shopify. This will make the checkout customization process much easier. So, click on this payment option. Here, you can add your payment gateway to Shopify, which will allow you to collect payments from your customers. When you scroll down, you'll see this PayPal option. You can simply activate this payment gateway by clicking on this Activate button, and then you only have to enter your business details to connect your PayPal account. And if you scroll down a little, you'll see this Manual Payment method section. From here, you can enable the Cash on Delivery option in your store. All right, now I only need to add a payment gateway. I can simply activate the Shopify payment gateway by clicking on this button, and then I only need to submit my business details to get approved. The best part about Shopify Payment Gateway is that it doesn't charge any transaction fees, which can actually save you a lot of money. But for now, I will not fully activate it, as I am currently working on a development store. So, I will simply go back to the Payments tab once again, and then I will click here to activate a Test Payment Gateway. And as soon as I click on this Activate button, the Payment Gateway will be enabled on this store. Alright, now I will click on this Checkout option. This is where I can manage and customize the store checkout settings. So, I will simply click on this Customize button, which will take me to the editor. This is our store's current checkout page, and I am going to make some little changes to it. On the left-hand side, you'll see these options, which will help you edit this page. For example, if I want to add a logo to this page, I will simply go to the Logo option on the left, click on Add Image, and then I will simply add my logo here. The logo is now visible on the store header. I can also increase or decrease the size of this logo from here. Next, I can change the position of the logo using these options. For now, I will keep it on the left side. Next, we also have the option to add a background image to this header. Adding a background can give your store a unique look, so I recommend that you do that. If you don't have a background, you can go to freepick.com and get a background for your store. For example, I will download this background for now, and then I will simply upload it here. And as you can see, the background is now visible on the header. And don't worry, you can remove this background whenever you want to. Next, we have this background one option. This is the background of this form. So if I add any image here, it will appear just behind this form. But if I change the color here, it will also be visible at the header as well. For now, I will change the background to gray color. Next, we have the background two here, which will change the color of this second section. Next up, we have these three colors. These color will appear on this form field, so feel free to play around with these options. You can add your own brand color here, or you can leave it as default too. Next, we have the typography, which will help us change the headings and other texts from this page. You can also change them if you want to stay consistent with your store fonts. Lastly, we have this checkout layout option. You can either select a one-page checkout or a three-page checkout. I personally recommend that you use the one-page checkout option, as the three-page checkout process can be a bit lengthy, and maybe the customers will abandon their cart in between. Okay, now I will simply click on this Save button on the top right to save all of these changes. And then I will simply exit this editor by clicking on this exit button. Next, we have some other options here, which will help us further customize the checkout page. First, we have the customer contact page, where you can select what information you want to collect from your customers. For example, I can decide whether I want to collect just the email or the email with the phone number of the customer. Next, we can also check this option, which will require the customers to create an account on your store. However, it is not recommended as it may increase the sales resistance, and you may lose some customers because of this. Next, we have the customer's personal information settings. Here, we need to select all the information that we want to get from our customers. You can also set some fields as required or optional based on the product you are selling in your store. For now, I will simply follow the Shopify recommendation for these fields. Next, we have the marketing options here. 
Here, I will select both emails and SMS options. Next, you can also enable the tipping option here, which will allow your customers to send some tip. But for now, I will simply uncheck this option. Next up, we have the address settings, where I will go with the recommended settings. Next, we have the abandoned checkout email settings here. This is a very important setting. If any customer will abandon their cart after filling the checkout info, they'll get notified via email if you enable this setting. Personally, I don't recommend this setting as well. Instead of this, I like to use an email marketing tool called Clavio. With Clavio's email automation system, you'll be able to create much better automation than this one. I've created a detailed tutorial on Clavio email marketing tool as well. You can watch that video using the link which is given in the video description. Next, you can also change the checkout language from here. All right, now that we have gone through all these settings, it's time to save our changes. So, I will click on this Save button to save all of these changes. And with this step, our basic checkout setup is finally complete. But wait, it's not over yet. You see, we've only completed the basic checkout settings yet. But there are many more things that we can do to customize it even further. For example, you can set up different upsells and cross-sell offers after the customer has made their purchase. Upsells are a great way to increase the average order value, as it will help you get more sales. You can see this checkout rules section on this page. Here, we can use a third-party app to set up the upsell offers. So, click on this Shopify App Store option, which will take you to the Shopify App Store. Here you can find hundreds of apps to create upsell offers, but there are only a few of them that actually works. You can click on any of these apps and then check what they have to offer. I personally like to use this upsell app called Aftersell. This is one of the most popular post-purchase upsell apps, which you can use to boost your store sales. This app does have a free plan, but it is only available for development stores. They also have some affordable paid plans too. You can choose any plan depending on how many orders you get in a month. And all of their plans comes up with a 30-day free trial, which means that there is no risk involved for you at all. Next, if you click on this View Demo Store button, it will take you to a demo store, where you can see all the features that this app has to offer. This app mainly offers these four features. For now, let's have a look at the checkout page features. To show you the features, I will simply click on this Add to Cart button. You can see that the product is added to the cart. And then you will see this product recommendation here, which is basically an upsell triggered by this app. There is also this shipping protection upsell here, which is also triggered by this app. So I will simply click on this checkout button now, which will take us to the checkout page. Here, you can see these icons with text blocks, which are made using this Aftersell app. Next, we have another upsell here, which is also triggered by this app. And you can also see this product review tab. And on the top, you can see this progress bar, which is of course made on this Aftersell app. So if you also want these features into your store, then make sure to install this app on your Shopify store. I also have a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial on this app, which will help you to further customize your store checkout using the Aftersell app. You can click here to watch that video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.